tribe's member withdraws bill that says the ones who jail protesters, uh, protesters, I mean. The rep members withdraw bill seeking to jail protesters. The sponsor of the bill seeking a five-year jail term for protesters, Honorable Emeka Chinedu, on Tuesday withdraw the bill from the House of Representatives. Chinedu announced the withdrawal of the bill in a letter read by the Speaker of the House, Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, a plenary in at a plenary in Abuja. It will be recalled outrage had greeted the bill since its introduction on July 6. The lawmaker, however, said that he was misquoted in the media as he added that he was not sponsoring a bill to jail protesters. While acknowledging the, re the receipt of the letter, the, the speaker said, it is your pre it is your prerogative the bill is hereby withdrawn the speaker then urged the media to always be accurate in their reports okay i think social sometimes social media do really help people in this country apart from this fake news they kept on bringing about all the time we must say they are indeed helping the masses as it stands right now because if it wasn't for the social media who brought out the uh, news of the lawmakers planning to sponsor a bill to jail protesters then definitely they would have put the bill in place but since and uh, the whole news got casted on the social media then they deny saying anything of such now as it stands they said the bill is no longer going to be put in place. Let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this article. The honorable member who sponsored the bill in the first instance is uneducated and very ignorant of the democratic principles and the best practice. He is not conversant with democratic government and political science. One day, this honorable member will wake up to propose a bill to ban public hearing. Those who suppose to be in the parliament are not allowed to be there. But only those who don't have any business are the ones who find themselves there. It's a pity. Thanks to the media, they did well for disgracing the said lawmaker. Hmm. Complete it when you leave the place to come down you eat the fruit of your labor. You people would also eat it at the end, okay? And someone else say, big time, why who beg him to do so? Waiting a scapegoat. Probably those behind the idea were cocaine addicted. The sponsor of such bill call back to village as such brain is not useful for the country. Honestly, they need to be impeached or jail with bad idea. Hmm. Emeka, there is God, though. Okay? Those who raise up the idea should be jailed and impeached because they are criminals with bad idea. Never want to be a leader of the nation. The sponsor of the bill should be called back to the to his village, okay? And be crucified. Okay. Five years is too small for such offense. Let peaceful protest. <clears throat> like peaceful protest. He should have suggested for a life imprisonment, Mumu, while we draw the bill. The all of his family would have been the first to go to prison for not using his brain before sponsoring a devilish bill. Emeka Chinedu will go exile soon. Okay? They don't remember that if there is no protest, there is nothing like campaign of election. Tell the difference between campaign and protest. The same people are protesting. We still follow the campaign for the election. Buhari at work is planning to stay beyond his tenure in office. Hmm. So an Igbo man could sponsor the bill to jail protesters when Southern, Southerners have been the ones that are suffering most for protesting. I won't be surprised if the Southerners, Southerners are being treated like the second class citizen any longer. Hmm. Better for him, oh, this idiot has no business in the House of Representatives. I pity the people he represents. Why can't he use his senses for the things that will benefit his people instead of thinking of sending them to prison? 
I think that what really may have transpired transferred is that his mentioned name somebody Chineduke called B as a result previous knowledge of the Fulanis in head of government affairs always engaged these ego Fulani politicians in front of any abnormal deed having in mind to establish a cover up could what resulted in coming of this useless bill in the first place only for them to see the see they could be negative outlook okay at last they led to the withdrawal a lot of people has a lot to say according to what Mbala says Abuja politician <laughs> that they are Abuja politician that they have no sense of reasoning that they just say whatever they want to say and do whatever they want to do without the care of what the people will feel why did he withdraw it madman Mad people everywhere. Rubber stamp reps, okay? The honorable member who sponsored the bill don't know the meaning of democracy. Honorable Emeka, go ahead. Don't withdraw it, okay? A lot of people has a lot to say. And everyone is here and there saying what they feel like. Well, they are saying that they want to um, send um, peaceful protesters to um, five years in five years imprisonment <laughs> this is something i really don't think them themselves shouldn't have even thought about it because i don't really understand how these people reason and how they think are uh, the eagles who are now in the house of representative also as, have they also started thinking like cows or are they not educated enough to know that a um, peaceful protest is allowed in a democratic nation or don't they know of things like that or why would they even think of something as as horrible as that when a um, Fulani herdsmen are busy killing innocent people and raping innocent citizens? They are being left to do whatever they feel like, and they are instead they are taking out their frustration on innocent protesters. Why would they say that uh, people protesting will spend five years in prison? As in. I really don't understand these people. It's even a good thing that the social media really taught them a lesson they really deserve. I think they've learned from their lesson. They wouldn't dare to say anything of such. We hopefully, hopefully, we hope that all the protesters that were that was arrested are, are all released and allowed to go to their homes freely. That is what we hope for, because these people, when he. Uh, when someone keeps quiet and leave them to do whatever they feel like, they started acting like they are God. They won't listen to what anyone has to say. They misbehave and do things in their own way of liking. Like what um, uh, um, Chinedu said, that he's going to um, withdraw the bill. So if um, the media didn't take out everything on them or started protesting or started sharing it all over the social media then they wouldn't know that they are supposed to withdraw the bill they shouldn't have withdrawn it. they would have just let it be as for a uh, um, um, what is his name a uh, family bajabia miller is it everything that um they bring to the um send to the senate house the house of representative i mean is it anything they bring to the house of representative that he's going to as in allow to be ahead some things are meant to be as in discharged without even allowing them to go or escalate even further. It shouldn't have allowed this thing to even go out of place. But as it is right now, I think him too, he has learned his lesson. He wouldn't even allow such a thing to take place again. Why would they say they want to uh, jail protesters? Are these people for real? What did they even take Nigerians for? So we have now become cows or animals that they can, they can mistreat anyhow, any way they feel like. They shouldn't worry. Their own children will also reap from this. It is definitely the law of karma. We definitely catch up with all of them. 